Snipers, you have to see what's happening in the Bitcoin price this Friday as so much happened today and there's a lot happening on the charts. The equity markets have maintained their gains. The jobs numbers came out today almost double what was expected. And this was actually not a good thing for the markets, but the markets did not sell off because of this. As a matter of fact, let's dive straight into the chart snipers. There's a lot to talk about today with Bitcoin still moving sideways inside of this important range with the support of the previous weekly open at 22,576 and the resistance of 23,795. Check this out, snipers. If we pull up the NASDAQ, I just want to show you something super interesting. And a lot of people are saying that potentially the equity markets are ready to cool off. And what's interesting about the way that we close this week for the NASDAQ is we are testing major resistance level here. And so what does this mean for Bitcoin coming into this weekend with the NASDAQ potentially going to be finding resistance to open up the week next week? And especially after the jobs numbers that came out today, the feds could certainly tighten up even more coming into August 10th for the new CPI numbers. Are we going to be seeing a potential sell off into that announcement for August 10th? Well, let's talk about this sniper. So if the Nasdaq is seeing resistance right now, it's finally reaching a major resistance and Bitcoin has yet to follow. It's been underperforming. You can see if Bitcoin were to just do what the Nasdaq has done, it should already come up to test 28,000. Well, that's an interesting thing to note because we're coming into the weekend where the markets are the most manipulated. And so what I think is extremely important for Bitcoin this weekend is that we have to see them move to 28,000 in the next 24 to 48 hours before equities reopen up on Sunday to come and test this market structural resistance, potentially even fill the CME gap at 28,900. It has to happen this weekend or else if it doesn't and Bitcoin stays below 24,300, the major resistance right now, then coming into equity markets opening up next week, I think we are playing a very risky game where Bitcoin could potentially sell off, break the major support at 22,500, and then potentially even come back down to test 20,000 again. And so let's look at Ethereum and talk about what's happening there. Ethereum is trying to get back above 1760 coming into this weekend. Could this be an early indicator that maybe Bitcoin is going to be seeing a bullish weekend over the last two weekends? Bitcoin has pumped. Well, if we break above 1760, it opens up the door to 1980, or we can just call it 2000 US dollars for Ethereum. What's more important, though, is this Ethereum to Bitcoin chart pushing up right now and really starting to test this extremely important resistance coming into the weekend. If Ethereum to Bitcoin chart does break out from 76,000 Satoshis, that's a confirmed breakout to potentially 88,000 Satoshis. We really are setting ourselves up for an interesting weekend snipers to say the least. Let's monitor the Ethereum and Bitcoin chart heading towards 76,000 Satoshis. And outside of that, I wouldn't say much else happened in the markets today. The total cryptocurrency market cap is also potentially coming to test a major resistance. Let's monitor this into the weekend. 1.132 trillion US dollars. Gold closed the week above its major resistance, which means it closed the week bullish. It's maintaining this area here as a support level right now. So that's just of note. The Nasdaq did pull back as it faced resistance today. You can see it pulled back right at that major resistance level. And so that could be setting us up for some blood into next week, which is why I think the most important thing to get out of today's video is the fact that if Bitcoin is truly going to be seeing this breakout, it has to happen in the next 24 to 48 hour snipers. I'll keep you guys updated. And remember to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you support this content. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys this weekend. Let's see what happens. And by the way, check this out. I'll just quickly mention what I'm also monitoring for the bullish case. In 2019, Bitcoin bottomed out after a minor capitulation, very similar to the minor capitulation that we've recently seen in 2022. And so far, we are following the same bottom trend where we're forming higher lows. And so Another key indicator for me right now that we do have a bottom is, is as long as we hold 20,000 US dollars in any downside scenario case, especially if it happens during this weekend, it might be a smart idea to be entering into those long positions if this happens this weekend. If we come down 
towards 20,000. I do not see a reason for Bitcoin to pull the rug this weekend. Equity markets close strong. And so far, we've been forming higher lows. So as long as we continue to form higher lows, I think things are looking good for Bitcoin. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Snipers.